that most of those bets are being taken care of. But as for those ticket refunds, well, companies, they're still navigating that avenue after that unprecedented medical emergency. With millions tuning into Monday night's game, millions of dollars were on the field. I placed the bet a uh, day and a half before. Ohioans testing their luck on one of the biggest matches of the season. It's very easy. You just go right on your phone, do it. But when a medical emergency postponed the game, sports betting companies like Betfred put life over wagers. When the announcement officially came down that the game would be, uh, would be postponed, uh, we got together with our team back in, in Las Vegas and, and agreed, all pretty much universally agreed that we should just go ahead and cancel the bets. The only people walking away with a win were those predicting that first run into the end zone. The only bets that we actually let stand were on, uh, on Boyd to be the first touchdown scorer. We did have a fair number of people that made that bet. And we wouldn't head out, pay those wagers uh, as, as we would normally. In a statement, FanDuel said the bets placed on the game have been voided in accordance with our house rules and the state regulations of each state we operate. But for ticket refunds, it's a different story. Ticketmaster told us on Twitter, we will update ticket holders once a decision has been made on these matters. SeatGeek said, we're still waiting on official word from the NFL, so we'll determine what happens to those tickets when we hear back. But for betters, they're glad the money is back in their pockets. It was just more of a novelty and a fun thing. I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not a uh, constant gambler, but it was just fun to get caught up in the whole thing. Now, we have reached a back out to those ticket companies after the NFL canceled the game and have not heard back yet. And after talking with several sources with the Bengals, it sounds like if you purchase tickets through the team, that will be refunded. Reporting live tonight, Rachel Hersheimer, WWT News.